Can't do this. Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. I am Kapana Shimange, and this is how I do things the show where you send me your questions, and I'll let you know how I would do things if I was in your shoes. Now, you can use it as advice, take it. Don't take it, use it, don't use it. It's all up to you. It is your life. Live it however you want, honey. Now, if you want to send me your questions and scenarios and you want me to weigh in on it, then follow me at Kopanashimange on Instagram and look for this picture right here. Respond and let me know what question or scenario you want me to weigh in on and we'll create a video on it soon, soon. Now, today we have a question from a young lady who has to do public speaking, but she is scared beep list of actually speaking in front of people. Now there's been some research that has been done that people would rather die than speak in public. But there's a few things that you can do to get over that fear. Now I know, it looks like I've got all the confidence in the world and it will be super easy for me to speak in front of a large crowd. But I've had nerves. They have crippled me before. In 2012, I was on drive time radio in the Northwest, the Northwest premier radio station that played also in our, in our bordering countries. And there was a day where I did the news report. The first time I did it, I winged it. I picked up a newspaper, I looked at the headlines and I just read and I was there. I was like, bah, 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 kasasamenya, sports, rugby, soccer, football this is what is happening i was in there like somewhere and i was brilliant then came the day where i had to start scripting my news reports and reading them live on radio i have never i mean i've got chills telling the story but i have never in my life been so nervous that i st st stuttered i knew tennis players names i knew all the soccer players names i knew every single team in the english premier league and uefa and all of that stuff but on that day i was nonsense nonsense it was so bad there was a radio station bully who actually had a toast to my worst week on radio nerves took over my entire body and i just I was terrible. I've never been bad at speaking in public, but that, that, my first month on radio, it lasted a month for me to get over my nerves and start being a good radio presenter, specifically sports reader. But I got over it and I actually started to do an amazing job. And I started to be so good at that specific job that I continued to do that in other ways. Right, so here I am, I've got a YouTube channel. I'm pretty confident speaking to you guys now. I've actually taken that lesson and I've flipped it around. And because I learned how to get over my public speaking nerves back then, I now am able to use it to build my brand, to build my business and use it to build my success. And everybody should have that too, right? So here are a few tips of what I did to help myself get over the nerves of speaking in public. Number one, now let's just roll our eyes ahead of time so we can get over it. Uh, okay, glad we got that out of the way. Practice, right? I know, I know. That's why I said you must roll your eyes before because I knew you were going to roll your eyes anyway. Practice actually does make perfect. And this is not just practice in terms of just taking a piece of paper and going, in front of people, practice. No, that's not practice. This is what practice is. You need to get yourself in front of a mirror, whether it is in your bathroom, whether it is in your car, wherever it is, get in front of a mirror and look into your eyes. Now you need to imagine yourself 
looking into the crowd or looking into a camera or looking into the eyes of a person who's going to be watching you doing your presentation and you need to recite whatever it is that you're going to be speaking about out loud now if you're doing something that's going to be impromptu or something that is going to uh, you need to freestyle then you can practice freestyling it also works so you need to visualize the scenario you are going to be in. For me, it would have been a radio station mic, right? In studio, here's my mic, here's my piece of paper and reciting the news, the sports news bulletin. So for you, you may need to practice seeing a big crowd. You may need to practice seeing a camera. If you need to Google the space that you're going to be in and try and get picture references of the place you're going to be in, then do that because it really does work. So it's not just about practicing saying the words, it's about practicing visualizing the crowd you're going to be in and speaking into a mirror looking straight into your eyes. What that actually does is it helps you imagine and live out a successful presentation. The key is to finish off every single practice round with an applause. Finish off with a positive response. So if I was imagining myself in the radio station, I'd imagine myself in the, ra in the studio and I'd see my co-host smile at me saying, that was amazing or looking at a crowd, responding, standing up, giving me a standing ovation saying, wow, that was such an amazing talk. Or meeting someone when you go off stage who says, oh my word, your talk changed my life. You need to always practice imagining the scenario you're going to be in and finish it off with a positive response. Finish it off with victory. The second tip is to tell a story. Now this doesn't always work in every situation, but in whatever public speaking you need to do, if you really want to start off being comfortable, then start with a story. You may want to start off by saying um, where you were and what you were doing before you got on stage. You may want to relate whatever it is that you're talking about with a personal story of yours from your past. The thing that happens when you do that is you occupy the first part of your talk or your speech with something that comes from your memory. And remember, you want to make it something that is pleasant, that will make people smile. Don't put pressure on yourself about making people laugh. All you have to do is think back and tell people about a story that you know well, that you don't have to read off your cards, that you're going to recall, that will put you in a positive state and will put everybody else in a positive state. Starting off that way is such a great way to just get over the nerves. Nerves usually last at the beginning of your talk and if you learn to control them at the beginning, then the rest of the talk will be well. So you want to start off with something that you remember, a good memory, something that will make other people warm and fuzzy and smile. And if you happen to be funny, then relate it back to a funny story. But telling a story and especially relating it to something in your memory will be a really good way to get started and to get over those nerves right at the beginning. Step number three is to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. This is something that people are really scared to do, but if you do this one to three times before you say your first word, then you will be in a much calmer position. And you can think about what it is that you're going to say. Now, this is an example that I'm giving you right now, is that first I'm going to start by taking a deep breath, after which I'm going to continue to pause and breathe throughout my talk. And what that does is it makes me more relaxed. Breathing actually relaxes the muscles, sends oxygen throughout the different parts of your body. A lot of us don't even breathe properly throughout the day. So if you learn to take a deep breath in your talk, you will then learn how to relax yourself, your muscles, your nerves, and flow. And this brings me to point number four, which is to pace yourself. Now, if you're going to start your talk off and you're going to be rambling right from the beginning, going at a very high speed, already you cause yourself to be anxious because when you talk fast, your, your shoulders start to bring, to come up to your, to your ears. And then you also take shorter breaths. What that means is that you make yourself more anxious because you're talking really fast at the beginning, which doesn't give you time to breathe and to relax, going through your talk and everything just becomes a snowball of nonsense going forward. 
but if you start off by breathing and you pace yourself you can start off slow and use your pace to speak about emotions then you can start to analyze how you want to lift your voice and alternate your pace making sure that you raise the excitement by going a little faster and bringing down the pace for you to find your thoughts and to bring people in as well learning to pace yourself when you're talking helps you calm down helps your mind to remember things that you need and it keeps people focused on you number five is to find your voice and many of you may find this very stupid but the best way to find your voice is to talk <laughs> right so if you want to get comfortable about a topic that you're going to speak about talk about it as often as you possibly can if it means that you need to join a chat group join a chat group if it means that you need to talk to yourself in front of a mirror do it the more you speak about a certain topic the more you get to explore certain sentences certain thoughts certain ideas that may actually work out when you speak in public the more you speak about something the better it becomes get a dictaphone record your voice do fake talks in front of your camera put your phone there and talk to yourself this will actually help you become better at speaking about the thing you want to talk about if you want to take this international honey be the best person out there and be a world-renowned speaker who earns six figures and gets flown to other continents then you really want to practice finding your voice the best way to find your voice is to practice practice in front of a camera practice with a dictaphone record your voice all of these things will really help you to explore different topics different ways you can speak and then you will start to find your magic and then when you get onto that stage it's fire my sixth and final point is something that people find kind of difficult to do but it is one of the greatest ways for you to get comfortable speaking in front of other people and for you to get ahead in whatever topic that it is that you're going to speak about get connected get connected with other people who are in the same field about the thing you're talking about so if this is a school thing you want to get with the people who are good at doing school presentations you want to be around them maybe ask them hey can i hang out with you while you're preparing you want to get connected with people who are good at doing the thing that you want to do get around other good speakers dm them just slide into the dms it's fine ask as many people as you possibly can ask and get around other people who are good about speaking about that thing those people will rub that confidence off on you their comfort with the topic will make you comfortable with the topic too they shouldn't intimidate you they will actually inspire you especially if you look at them as people you want to emulate as soon as you meet someone who's good at doing something you then realize that this person is human they burp and fart the same way I do and that makes them human that humanizes them and that makes you realize that me and this person there's absolutely nothing different between the two of us if they can be good at it then I can be good at it too now those are the six things that I did I got around people who also did news reports I started to practice a whole lot in front of the mirror and in the toilet even at work these are all things that I did for myself and they really helped me during those situations where I felt like my nerves were going to crumble me into a million pieces but it helped me to become better at what i did and what i do now so if you also want to get over the fear of speaking in public these are the six things that you can do to help you get over that fear now if you want to hear more about topics like this give me a big thumbs up so i can know to make more of these and don't forget to subscribe before you leave here this is how i do things i'm kopana shimage and i'll see you on the next one So if you want to keep this conversation going and you want a few tips on how to do things, then go to kopanoshimage.com where you can sign up and get access to that exclusive, exclusive.